Game Over 86 coming back with another video today. And this is going to be the Walmart Black Friday sale. I'm going to talk to you guys uh, what games to possibly look forward to, especially the young ones out there um, or the uh, parents or the grandparents out there looking for kids um, or grandkids stuff to find. I'm going to try to showcase the best prices, talk about the best deals, and give you guys some hopefully uh, good information and some good um, just information to find the best deals possible. Some of these games I will let you know where they're cheaper at in other stores, but let's go ahead and get into the sale. And to start out, I do want to say this, that the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox Series X will be online only, so you cannot go in store and get that. They're supposed to have some up on uh, Black Friday. Now, I don't know if they're going to be able to do that um, and everybody get one. I don't know how many they're going to have. They don't say that, but it does say um, on the bottom of this corner right here, more deals online. And then it says um, also the other color will be like blue. It'll say in stores only, or it'll say in stores uh, starting at 5 a.m. But a lot of deals that are going to be online are going to be also on Wednesday, November 25th. But the big deals that a lot of people are going to be wanting um, if you if you want to go into the store and get are going to be on Friday and then some of these deals that I'm going to be talking about like the PlayStation 5 I I think I said PlayStation 4 I do stand correct it's PlayStation 5 I apologize for that um, and the Xbox Series uh, X and I believe they're going to have the Xbox Series S I'm not for sure it's not on the ad right here so bear with me on that one they may not have them in stock. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you guys are into VR, I have a, another video I can post uh, at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out, a VR headset for PlayStation VR. Um, just give you guys some ideas. Some of it's a little bit cheaper, some of it's not, but they do have an Oculus Quest 2. Um, I believe this is a 64 gig for $299, and the I think the 256 gig is $399. Not a bad uh, headset from what I've heard. I have a couple buddies of mine that actually have this headset, the 64 gig. They wish that there was more gig. They should have gotten the bigger one. But they do say it's awesome because it's free roam. There's no wires and all that stuff. The only bad thing is you do have to connect to Facebook, uh, I believe, in there. So that's something if you don't want to have all your information and everything on there uh, where it runs through Facebook. Some people don't trust it. Um, that's up to you. They also have an Apple Watch series 3 for 119 dollars they have airpods uh pro for 169 dollars used to be 220 that's not a bad price my daughter has a set of them um which is pretty good some of the games right here to go through and look um they have fire emblem they have super mario deluxe u luigi's three luigi's mansion three aces uh, mario tennis aces Splatoon 2, Super Mario Maker 2, Yoshi's Crafted World, and Zelda's Link's Awakening. Um, they're all $30. Uh, I stay away from these controllers up here that you guys can see. I'm not a big fan of the controllers. I do have one, um, but if it was me, I wouldn't spend the $30 on another controller. If you have enough controllers, um, I would recommend sticking to the pros. I know they're a little bit more pricier, but um spend that money on games kids will like games over a controller and and sometimes the controllers just don't last that well and i don't think they're the best quality there is um for this type but other games let's move on uh, if you're a sports fan there's going to be 28 dollars titles like madden fifa and nba 2k we're also and these uh right here are starting wednesday november 25th i forgot to mention that i'll tell that on each page so that we know it's online deals uh start on uh, online only deals start at 7 p.m on wednesday november 25th so um and some of them will be highlighted so some of the pages will have like half and half or not uh, some of them will have to be in stores only and some of them will have to be online only so i hope that everybody will get their stuff but the next titles are $15 titles. You got Mortal Kombat 11. Um, you got Grand Theft Auto 5. It's an older title. You got, uh, yeah, you got, I thought my recording was messing up. Um, you got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You got Predator, Hunting Grounds. You got Man Eater 2, which is a really good game. I really like that. If you guys are fans of Jaws or old school games like Jaws Unleashed on the Wii, uh, or I think it was on the Xbox 360, um, that's a great game to get. They also have some kid title games, some Lego games. Um, they also have uh, Destroy All Humans, which is a pretty good game. And uh, they have Halo. 
I mean, them, them games, some of these games are older titles, but the ones that I would look for on the $15 one would be Man Eaters, a really good game. Um, if your kids like goofy shark games, it's pretty cool. Um, it's got a little bit of blood in it, but, uh, you know, that's up to you on what you want your kids to play or um, have. Destroy All Humans is an old game that got remastered. really fun game. Um, them are the two that I would look at getting right off the bat. And then they have more $20 titles. And these are more titles available. I keep forgetting to mention some of that stuff. More titles available online. So they're not just going to have them for $15. They're going to have other ones. But the $20 ones is uh, Days Gone, Spider-Man, uh, Death Stranding, Gears 5, which is pretty good. They also have um, Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot. Uh, Resident Evil 3 is going to be $15, $14.99 at Best Buy. That's one game that I do know that it's going to be cheaper. Uh, Doom Eternal is $20. That's that's a really good one. Crash Team Racing, uh, I would. That's a really good one for the kids. Um, some of these, if you do have a, if you do decide to get a PlayStation 5, I do want to mention this, guys. If anybody out there gets a PlayStation 5, there's this thing called PlayStation Plus. Um, and it's a subscription you have to pay. Uh, if you want it for a year, it's $60, but they're going to have it on sale for $44.99, as you can see right here. I'll showcase more, and I'll talk a little bit about it more, but let me jump real quick. If you end up getting a PlayStation 5, and you get the online service so you can play online and have your kids play online or whatever, note that they have Days Gone, Spy they don't have Spider-Man. That You can get that with Miles Morales if you want. It's a little bit more. But they do have a lot of PlayStation games. on a. It's called the PlayStation Collection, the PlayStation Plus Collection. You'll get about 12 games right off the bat for free, 12 to 15 games uh, that you could download on your PlayStation 5, and they could play backwards compat. Um, so just know that if you're going to get a PlayStation 5, you don't have to buy Days Gone. Uh, you don't have to buy certain games that are on the PlayStation backwards compatibility. By all means, you can, but I was just giving you guys that uh, just as some info tips that if you do decide to get that. Um, the Xbox as well, they have Game Pass, so a lot of these games are on Game Pass. So if you do end up getting a Series X, um, you can get Game Pass on there. And Game Pass will be on sale for, I think, $22.99, uh, I think at Best Buy for three months so and it's originally and that's game pass ultimate so you get game pass you get games with gold so you can play online and then uh you get uh, all the games that come with it free four games a month come free and then you get like i said game pass that has like doom eternal on there and it has other great games and titles that uh, i know kids and adults would like and it's originally i think 44 bucks uh, a month but we'll go through all that stuff Okay, here it is. So uh, I jumped, and I apologize. My ADHD sometimes does that. Forgive me for that, guys. Um, but the controllers, accessories. Um, if you have more than one kid, yeah, I'd, I would expect trying to get an accessory. Um, it says right down here, as you can see, it's kind of hard to read, but it says online only. So remember that these are online only, even the membership cards. But right here, like I was talking about, it's twenty two eighty eight, um, and it's originally forty four eighty eight. So just note that if you do get an Xbox, you can get Game Pass Ultimate. You're already going to have a buttload of games there. So don't worry about if you don't get all the video games or if they're sold out of certain games. Just note that if you have Xbox Series X, Game Pass, you're going to get a ton of games. Uh, just make sure that you get the Xbox uh, three months right here. And you can get even more than that if you want. You can save a ton of money by getting six months. Give your kids half a year or you're yourself. Uh, treat yourself right if you're going to be able to if you're spending 500 and some dollars. Uh, you might as well get you something that's going to be able to play some games, uh, whether it be on Christmas where you set it up or whether it be uh, right when you get it, you know, after Black Friday. Some of the $25 titles um, are that are pretty good is Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, now, this now the Star Wars Rogue Squadron game is going to be, I believe, $20 on Black Friday's Best Buy ad. Um, and so um, instead of paying 25 bucks at Walmart, just note that down on your little pad, if you have to take a second, that game and Resident Evil 3 are going to be, I believe, one's going to be 15 and the other one's going to be $20 for that. But the other Garrett games on there that you have, you have the uh, Mortal Kombat with the with the DLC packs on there, which is pretty cool for 20 bucks. You have Need for Speed Heat. You have um, 
there's not a whole lot of games that I mean they're they're older titles, but there's some fun games in here. The newer games that are in here are the Rogue Squadrons, but like I said, on Best Friday or Best Buy's Black Friday, you can get that game for I believe it's going to be twenty bucks, and Resident Evil Three is going to be fourteen ninety nine. Uh, other games that are going to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, Thirty dollar titles, Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. I haven't got it yet. I plan on picking that game up. That's a great game, from what I hear. Uh, I have Last of Us Two. It's a great game. I haven't beat it yet, um, but for thirty bucks, that's not bad. Watch Dogs Legion. Now there's a free upgrade with these. So when you go to put these in and you install this game in your Xbox Series X, or um, or if you buy it and you still have an Xbox One X. Just note that you get a free digital upgrade when you do end up getting a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. So if you have a PlayStation 5 and you buy Watch Dogs Legion on the PlayStation 4, you put the disc in. There'll be these three little uh, lines right there where you go down. You'll click on it. It'll say download the PlayStation 5 digital version. Now, you do have to have the disc in the console for to count for the digital version. I hope that helps some people out too because I know people have been getting confused on putting a game in and not getting the the updated version like the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. Just note you have to go to the three lines. They'll be right there when it says download game. You click on them three lines and it will say download the PlayStation 5 version or the PlayStation 4 uh, version, disc version or the digital PlayStation 5 version. And if I'm talking a lot, I'm sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I'm giving everybody the right information and helping them out along the way. I'm not going to go through the whole ad because I'm just doing electronics and video games, uh, too. But uh, Avengers, $30. If you buy it on PlayStation 4, they did this thing that was uh, you get Spider-Man with that one. Final Fantasy VII. Like I said, all these games have free upgrades, I believe. Um, the ones that I'm mentioning, like Watch Dogs, um, and I think Final Fantasy VII does, maybe. I'm not 100% on that one. But the ones that uh, that have free upgrades, I will let you know. But yeah, Jedi uh, Fallen, uh, what is that one again? I guess Star Wars uh, Fallen Jedi or whatever um, game. I beat it already. It's pretty good. I just can't read it. It's kind of small print right there. I apologize for that. It's this one. That's a great game. I, I had a blast with the story campaign mode. It's It was one of my favorites. I hope that they keep going like this. Um, hopefully they keep making some great Star Wars single-player games as well. Oh, and uh, on the uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, it's a VR on the PlayStation VR, and I heard it's amazing. Um, so if you get it on the Xbox Series X, you won't have VR with that. But if you get it on the PlayStation 4 and you do have a PlayStation VR, you will be able to have that version. Some of the other stuff that's going on, let me go back a little bit on TV sales. Beats, uh, they're the Solo 3, so they're not the studio ones. I do actually have some studio ones. I can't I can't find them right now, but um, I paid, I think, $179 for them. I don't know if they're going to have them or not, but that one's not a bad deal. Beats is a pretty good headset. If you're looking for some uh, good headphones to use or give to your kids to uh, play video games with so they're not always being really loud, that's a good headset to get. Um, the other ones are Power Beats for 99 bucks. I don't really know a whole lot about that one, but I do know that Beats is, makes good quality. A couple uh Fitbit. I bought my wife a Fitbit for Mother's Day. I paid 150 for this same one, I believe it was 180, something like that. Yeah, it's 180. Um she has this one. She uses it all the time. She can use it to uh talk, to text, to send back to her phone. Uh, it checks your heart rate. It checks your step counts. It does a lot of good things as a clock, all that other stuff, calendars, whatnot. You can download apps on it. it you link it through your computer or whatever, your PC. Um, they also have a smaller Fitbit, which I might get. I might get me a $69 Fitbit. I'm still hesitant about it. They have some TVs. Now, remember, these are online only. Um, they're trying to keep a lot of people with COVID uh, away from uh, gathering too many people at Walmart for Black Friday. So these TVs, you got a 4K 65-inch Samsung. Uh, and just note that some of these might be Black Friday models. So they may be like a cheap generic version model that they're just selling on Black Friday. So just remember that, anybody out there. I'm not saying not to get them. I'm just saying if you do get them, normally they don't have a series with it. It's normally, um, it's normally just that specific year model for Black Friday. Um, 478 for 65-inch. And they say it was a, normally 528. Then they have one for a 58 inch, 
398 and it's originally uh well that one's the black friday deal because it don't say um it used to be or was the price they also have some speakers some wireless um sound bars bluetooth 99 dollars for a samsung and they have a vizio 4.1 wireless bluetooth surround sound for 129 dollars, which is a pretty good deal Let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to do some extra uh, things. I don't want to just do video games, but I am going to do some extra things. They do have a little scooter here, uh, a Razor electric scooter. So if your kids uh, want an electric scooter, $69. Remember, this is online only on this page. Um, they have a uh, 36 mini trampoline for all the little kids out there wanting to, uh, you know, blow some energy and, you know, just jump around. You can have that, I'm sure, in the house or something. Uh, for the little ones out there. They also have a hoverboard um, for $69. I know the kids out there love the hover hoverboards. Um, to me, when they call it a hoverboard, to me, I'm I'm a Back to the Future fan. I want something that's going to hover. I can't wait for that to ever come because if it does, I'm going to be like a little kid again when I was watching Back to the Future 2, the hoverboard. And I, and I hate to jump, but I just I, I love bringing back that emotion and memories when I share these videos with people, and I hope that I can reach some people out there that kind of feel the same way I do. But for $69, the hoverboard's pretty cool. Um, and then they, they had something that I was really looking at. And this is a uh, Havana or Havana portable spa for $197. I don't know about you guys, but I live in a state that's normally cold during the wintertime. Really cold. And I would love to have one of these things just to go sit out in and warm up. Put it in my garage or, or put it somewhere where I can go relax. And uh, you know, relax my back muscles. For those of you that know that I have back problems... Uh, and everything going forward. Hopefully, I can get that fixed. They have bed sheets, uh, hotel style, 1200 thread uh, bed sheets for $25 each. They'll have, uh, I believe, Pioneer Woman for all the ladies and men out there that cook. Uh, $69 set. My wife loves Pioneer Woman. I got her uh, Pioneer Woman, I believe, cookbook a while back ago, I think last year. Weighted blankets, Tranquility, 12 pound weighted blanket. My goodness, 12 pound weighted blanket, $17. They got a robotic vacuum for three twenty nine. I don't. I'm, I still vacuum with a regular vacuum. I, I haven't. I don't really trust them robots to clean everything up. Um, but I heard that they are good. But I, I. I don't know. I don't trust them. I don't trust them to do the job. Um, they also have other like a printer or something like that. They have uh, some really good sales right here. They have a Roku streaming media player for seventeen bucks. They have the Google Nest Mini version 2 or the uh, the Chromecast for $18.98. They have a Honeywell thermostat. So if you want to adjust your stuff, you can adjust that, I think, with your phone. Or if it's a voice assistant from what it says, it was $150. It's $99. They have a generic cheap $29 sound bar. It's by On, O-N-N. They have a Google Nest Hub, which I'm thinking about getting one of them. It's originally $89.98. 90 bucks, it's 50. Uh, here's your printers that they always have. 20 bucks for that printer, Canon. And then they have, and these are going to be online at 12 a.m. on Friday, November 27th, right up here, and in store at 5 a.m. So if you want to get these deals, you can get them online and in store. We're going to go ahead and go through a little bit more just to. Uh, uh, to appease some of the other people that may be coming in here just to see the full Black Friday ad. I'm going to go a little bit quicker, but mostly I do video game Black Friday deals and electronic deals. So bear with me on this. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit quicker. Any of your Christmas stuff you can see right here, you can pause the video, but I'm just going to skim through it real quick. You can pause the video. I'll go back a little bit right in here and showcase. They have towels, blankets, whatnot. They have bedding, which is good for people out there. It's king size and queen, $35. I'm thinking about maybe getting us one of them, getting a, a new uh, um, you know, comforter set. They have kids' clothes. Remember, all these deals start at on Friday, November 27th, online at 12 a.m. and in store at 5 a.m. They have other clothes, kids' socks, underwear, you name it. PJs, and then they have bikes. It's not a big Black Friday sale because they've been having sets going on these last two Saturdays and Wednesdays. So um, they have some scooters, some roller, or them. I thought I was about to say rollerblades, but they're called Mad Gear Boosters. To me, it looks like the moon boots that you used to roll your ankle on. I don't know how well these work, but they're fifteen dollars a piece. They have a little train that a kid's riding on. It's a six volt Minnie Mouse train. 
for you girls out there or boys that like Minnie Mouse, um, $50. That's not bad, I guess, if you like Minnie Mouse. And then they have a Razor uh, Dirt Rocket Dirt Bike. It's a 12 volt, uh, 100 bucks. And then they have a couple, they have a uh, Chevy, it looks like Avalanche or something. And then they have a Mercedes Benz uh, for $98. And it's a 12 volt. And the Chevy Silverado, Chevy Silverado, sorry about that, 6 volt. And that is pretty much it, guys, on the Black Friday deals. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them down in the comment section. There will be other people in here making comments, and I will try to get back to some of your comments as well. If you are new to this channel and you do like watching deals, Black Friday deals, or love talking about video games or hearing uh, opinions on video game news and video game reviews and video games, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you do like this video and you know somebody that wants to see... Um, the Black Friday ad, and you want them to get some good, honest information about what games to buy. If your grandparents out there, if your aunts and uncles, and you're just not up to date with all the electronics, make sure you share this video, like this video, and and share it with somebody that you know is going to get value out of this. Uh, whether it be somebody really not understanding the whole PlayStation Five and the Xbox Series X deals, like I said with the video games, where you can buy the subscription card and do all that as well. Um, so anyway, I am Game Over eighty six. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. God bless. And I love each and every single one of you. Do a good deed and stay safe during this holiday season. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a happy and safe Black Friday. Thank you. Peace.